I've just written a book called Entangled Life, How Fungi Make Our Worlds, Change Our Minds and Shape Our Futures. And for the last three weeks, it's been devoured by this pleurotus fungus, which has produced this rather amazing crop of oyster mushrooms, which I plan to eat, and thus eat my words. Initially, I was flattered that the fungus seemed to have consumed the book so eagerly, but on reflection, I don't think that I can take this as a vote of confidence. Clarotus has famously diverse tastes and can digest anything from crude oil to used cigarette butts to the herbicide glyphosate. It can even hunt and consume nematode worms if it needs to. But I think it's still a reassuring sight, given it's the ultimate omnivore. It would have been a bit bruising if the fungus hadn't eaten the book at all. Anyway, now it's the fungus's turn to get eaten. Some of them I'll pickle in brine, so I don't have to scoff them all at once. Another lot I'll fry up and eat right away. So now I'm sautéing the oyster mushrooms. A little bit of garlic and some oil. Keep it simple. 